Hello friends, I'm Sony and I'm your trainer for the session today. You've gone through a couple of story time sessions. Do you like them? Alright, because today is another story time session for you. Today the four sounds that we'll deal with are the T, the letter T, the D, the V and the W sound. The T, D, V and W. The sounds corresponding to these alphabets. So let us discuss what would be our aims and objectives for the session today. We would definitely revise the four sounds. We would then check the difference in the way a person with a neutral accent pronounces these words. We would then notice the way in which a person mispronounces these sounds. We'll go ahead and also practice the sounds in words and sentences. We'll have to go and do a lot of exercises, a lot of word games and then yes, as the name of the session says story time, we have a story time for you all. So let's start with the session and let's check the T and the D sounds. T as in tango, D as in delta. So the word T, it is a plosive. What is a plosive? Wherein when you utter the sound, the air comes out all of a sudden. There is a gush of air. That kind of sound is called a plosive. And where is the teeth ridge? Do you remember? The teeth ridge is just behind your upper teeth. Those fine lines, that rough structure, that is called the teeth ridge. So in case of the T sound, you need to place the tip of your tongue on your teeth ridge. Just where the ridge starts. You know that junction where your teeth end and the ridge start. Place your tongue there and say with me, T, T, Tango. Say Tango, Tango. Okay, let's practice D. D is also a plosive, that is, the air will come out. And for D as well, you need to place your tongue where you are placing it for T, that is, between your teeth and the ridge. D. Say Delhi. D. Delhi. Say it with me. D. Delhi. Good. Now what is the difference between T and D? Since both are plosives, the position of the tongue is same in both the cases. So what is the difference? The difference is that the T sound is voiceless. Now what do we mean by voiceless? Voiceless means that if you place your hand on your chest and then you say T, you will not feel a lot of vibration. But the D is voiced, which means when you place your hand on your chest and say D, you will feel a lot of vibration. So let's try it. All of you place your hands on your chest and say T, Tango. Loudly. Right. When you say T, do you feel a lot of vibration? It's almost negligible. Now let's say D, Delhi. Loud. Yes. In case of D, you do feel a vibration, which makes it clear that T is a voiceless sound and D is a voiced sound. Now, have you ever heard of the term MTI? Anyone? The full form of MTI? Well, MTI stands for Mother Tongue Influence. That means if you are an Indian and you speak English, 
even when you speak english the words or the way you speak english would have a hindi touch a hindi tone why does that happen because english is not our native language it's not our mother tongue all the time when we are at home or when we are with friends we usually talk in our mother tongue that could be hindi or any other language so with the result when we try and speak in english the tone or the sounds of english resemble those of our mother tongue let us consider the two sounds we are talking about that is the t and the d now in hindi when you say t it becomes the t tomato ka t now in case of tomato ka t when you say t your tongue goes back on top where there is the hard palate let's say tomato and notice when you say t the tongue will touch the roof roof of your mouth say t hindi mein t bolo t tomato kaha ja rahi hai aapki tongue upar hard palate pe now say d damru damru say it in hindi again the tongue goes to the roof the hard palate so the difference in the position of the tongue will actually make you say the sound correctly kyunki agar aap hindi wala t english mein use karenge to aapki english mein bhi hindi touch aa jayega for example if you want to say tomorrow and if you use the hindi t you will say tomorrow tomorrow jahan aapne bola it means you have the mother tongue influence all right similarly when you say delhi if you say it in the hindi fashion delhi de de damru it gets the hindi touch so we need to take care that when we say t and when we say d our tongue should go to the ridge the teeth ridge and not to the palate so let's try it once more t t for tango say it with me good d d for delhi very good we'll practice some more words with t and d to bring out the difference the first word down repeat after me down next down now notice the change when you said t there weren't many vibrations there but when you say d it is a voiced sound so a lot of vibration down down heart hard the first heart is dil and the second heart means sakhat so heart hard matter matter see in the vibration strong matter matter treat deed say it with me treat deed okay so i have picked out one word of t and one word of d let's continue taller remember the o sound it has to be taller taller not taller okay so taller dollar taller dollar goat goad g o a t and g o a d goat goad next atom atom adam atom adam whenever you say a word with der sound don't you feel something here some vibration out here that's correct next street steed tear dear t d brought brought member t is also a plosive the moment you say t to ek hawa si nikalni chahiye brought feel it on your palm brought broad 
whitest widest the stored adored stored adored the the let's practice once more the 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 say this the 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 good let's practice some sentences with the the and the sound good morning how are you today good the today the good morning how are you today great the great i'm studying day and night for my entrance exams next month great i'm studying day the and night the for my entrance the turn entrance as well for my entrance exams next next the next month i hope you are concentrating on current affairs i hope you are concentrating tre te te tring ting te so te 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 in concentrating tre ting on current affairs again the sound of t in current current affairs i am an avid reader of india today again i am an avid the reader the of india the today in today you have both t and d to t day the to day got it good that's good the that's me to a gaya good me do a gaya that's good it is supposed to be the best news magazine in our part of the world so this sentence has lot of ters and ders it the is supposed supposed me do a gaya to be to be me to the to be the best 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 the news magazine in our part of the world so part has the the and world has the the now let's move on to the next sound that is the v and the w the sounds are v v and w for example v as in victor say it with me victor victor and w as in water water the sound is v for v and w very slight u and a w w water now notice the position of my lips when i say v it is that your upper teeth need to rest on your lower lip they need to bite v v all of you bite your lower lip right v v victor say victor victor it is a voiced sound you should have that vibration victor victor and the w is also a voiced sound but in that case instead of biting your lip you need to kiss your w w a round shape of the lip w water water say water water right now you should not say water wa or water agar aapka muh theek nahi banega to sound theek nahi niklegi so it's victor and water both of them are voiced sounds 
Now, as I told you, in case of V, in case of V, you need to bite your lip. And in case of W, W, you need to kiss your W. Let's practice the V and the W sound in some words. The first word, vine, vine, v. You notice when I bite my lip and when I kiss my lip, vine. One word with V and one with W. Vine, wine, vine, wine. Next, vein, vein, vein. Can you notice the difference? Vein, vein, vein. That's the difference in the sound. And this difference will come if your lip positions are correct. Veil, veil, veil. Veil, veil. Wheel, wheel, wheel. Wheel. Vaz, vaz. Ways, ways. Okay, let's practice some more words. Next, very, very, weary, weary. Went, went. While, while. Can you notice that extra w in case of W? Practice these words every day because this sound would only come if you bite your lip for V and kiss your W's. Let's go ahead and practice the V and W sound in sentences. How, now in how, O, O, the W comes. How, how are you feeling? Very well. V, W, very well. Very well, thank you. I believe, again in believe, you have the V sound. So I believe you were in bed with fever. Okay. So you need to practice this a lot. It is not easy. It's not easy that at one word you bite your lip and for the next word you kiss your lip. Then again you bite your lip. This would only come with practice. So don't give up and practice a lot. Another sentence. I had a severe, severe case of viral fever. Ver, ver. V comes with a lot of practice because you need to bite your lip. V, viral, viral. But I'm alive and kicking now. The W has come. I'm alive and kicking now. Were, 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 were you in hospital for a very brief period? While the doctors made sure it wasn't anything more grave, grave than mere flu. So this is how you should practice even at home. Don't just rush through the sentence. Give importance to each word. Try and check. Sit in front of the mirror and see whether in case of V, in case of V, are you biting your lip? In case of W, are you kissing your W? Initially, say for a week or two, you'll have to practice it a lot. It will not come that easily. But then gradually, it would come on naturally. And you won't even realize when you start biting your lips and kissing your W's. Alright? So sit in the front of the mirror and go through these words or read some other books or sentences and then check your lip formation. Now let's do a small exercise.
Do we all know what is a palindrome? P A L I N D R O M E. Have you ever heard this word? Don't worry, it has nothing to do with accent right now. Just tell me what is a palindrome? Ask your friend who's sitting with you. Tujhe pata hai? Ask him. Do you know it? No, he does not. Okay, I'll tell you. A palindrome is a word or a phrase that reads the same forwards and backwards. मतलब कोई ऐसा word जिसका उल्टा सीधा एक ही मतलब हो. For example, the name Nitin. N I T I N. अब इसको उल्टा लिखोगे तो भी N I T I N ही है. So, जिसका सीधा उल्टा एक ही होता है, उसे हम palindrome कहते हैं. So this exercise is based on palindromes. In this exercise, you need to figure out the palindrome. What we are talking about. I'll give you an example. For example, the question I ask you is, she is a Russian ex-tennis player famous for her beauty. Now it also depends on your GK as well, not only on English. So we are talking about a lady who is an ex-tennis player and she's famous for beauty. We are talking about Anna Kornikova. So the word Anna, her name Anna, if you write it the other way, A-N-N-A, ulta kar do, to bhi A-N-N-A hi rehta hai. That means ulta sidha ek, which means it is a palindrome. Now have you understood what is a palindrome? Good. Let's go ahead and attempt the exercise. Your hint is, it is an interjection of wonder. It is an interjection of wonder. Which is that interjection which is also a palindrome? Juska ulta sida ek barabar. Yes? Good. It is wow. W-O-W. -W. Wow. What a beautiful lady. So wow is an interjection which is a palindrome. Next question. She is the first woman, Adam's companion and the mother of all mankind. Very easy. She was the first woman on earth, Adam's companion and the mother of all mankind. Who was the first woman on earth? Yes, we are talking about Eve. E-V-E. -E. You've heard Adam and Eve? Yes, so Eve is a palindrome. Next, it is the short form of radio detection and ranging system. It actually means this, radio detection and ranging system. Now all the science students, you should know this. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you this one. It is radar. R A D A R. Radar ko ulta karo, radari rahega. So it is also a palindrome. Next. Again, this is used if you want to call someone urgently for help. It is used to call someone urgently for help. Don't forget it has to be a palindrome. All of those who've seen the movie Titanic, you should know this. It is SOS, which means save our souls. You say this if you want to call someone urgently for help. So the word SOS is a palindrome. Ulta sidha ek barabar. Now, it is an adjective used only before a noun. It relates to a town or a city, especially its government or public activities. So it is an adjective. It relates to a town or a city. It is a palindrome. This is a tough one. It tells you a sense of responsibility. You've studied the subject history, history and civics. 
So the word civic is the answer here. C-I-V-I-C -I -I which means a sense of responsibility. Now this was about an exercise. Now as per the story time session, we'll go through a poem and we'll also go through a story. So let's go through a poem first and you need to identify the T, D, V, W sound. All right. So the poem is Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening. That's the name of the poem. Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening. You need to concentrate on the sounds. I'll start with the poem. Whose woods these are? I think I know. His house is in the village though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near. Between the woods and frozen lake, the darkest evening of the year. So this was a part of the poem. We will not talk about the entire poem. It's a long one. So we've done two stanzas from the poem. I'll repeat them for you. And please underline all the sounds we've done today. So I'll say the stanzas again. Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village low. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near. Between the woods and frozen lake, the darkest evening of the year. So let's go ahead and check different sounds. Let's talk about the W, the W sound. The first word, woods, woods have the W. Then the word will, will. Again the W, W. Watch, woods, with. All these words have the W sound. Without. Between, were, between, woods. These were the words with the were sound, the W. Now let's see some words with the V, 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 bite your lip. V, village, the first word. Then any other word with the V sound? Evening, Eve, V. Evening. These were the words which had V sound in them. Now let's see the T, the tango, T sound. Stopping, stopped, t, stopping, stopping. Two, T O, two. Little, little. Don't say little. Okay, it's not tall, it is still little. Must t, at the end, must it stop without. Without has the W w sound and the T as well towards the end. Without between t, bit t, between. Darkest t, t in darkest towards the end. Darkest. Any other word? No. So these were the words with the t sound. Now we are left with the d sound. Let's see the words with d. Woods, wood, d, d, woods. Then the word and, d, and. The D in and, and, and the word 
darkest d of dark darkest all right so we've gone through this poem i hope most of you got most of the words correct and remember the words you did not get correct this time because those are the words you need to work on now it is your favorite story time i read out a story and you need to identify the t d w and w sounds let's go through the story his name is saurav he stops by our house once in every 2 weeks he rides a bicycle which in turn pulls an old wooden cart it is all that he can afford it is about 15 years old or so he told me he had added that it's a good choice of transport for the working man not only does it run well but also doesn't run on petrol this makes it the most inexpensive form of transport since walking on the cart he carries a lawn mower a leaf blower a rake and a shovel sorov uses the leaf blower to blow leaves and dirt from the rear garden out to the front of our home then he rakes up the leaves into a bag he blows the dirt out into the street he cuts the lawn with his lawn mower he trims the hedge he uses the leaf blower to blow the dirt off each welcome mat that lie outside each door opening into the house then he puts all the leaves the grass trimmings and the hedge clippings into his cycle driven wheelbarrow he pushes the wheelbarrow around the block of houses where he uses his big shovel to empty the contents into a big dustbin it takes sort of about 2 hours to do this work when he is done he goes half a block up the street to the house on the corner there he does the same work again so what do you think sarov is a hard working boy i'll go through the story once again his name is sarov he stops by our house once in every 2 weeks he rides a bicycle which in turn pulls an old wooden cart it is all that he can afford it is about 15 years old or so he told me he had added that it's a good choice of transport for the working man not only does it run well but also doesn't run on petrol this makes it the most inexpensive form of transport since walking on the cart he carries a lawn mower a leaf blower a rake and a shovel sorov uses the leaf blower to blow leaves and dirt from the rear garden out to the front of our home then he rakes up the leaves into a bag he blows the dirt out into the street he cuts the lawn with his lawn mower he trims the hedge he uses the leaf blower to blow the dirt off each welcome mat that lie outside each door opening into the house then he puts all the leaves the grass trimmings and the hedge clippings into his cycle driven wheelbarrow he pushes the wheelbarrow around the block of houses where he uses his big shovel to empty the contents into a big 
dustbin. It takes Saurav about two hours to do this work. When he is done, he goes half a block up the street to the house on the corner. There, he does the same work again. So this was the story and you were supposed to pick out the T, D, V and W sounds. I'll quickly discuss the different words which have the V sound. Make a note of all the words. Sorov, V, every, every, inexpensive, V, inexpensive, shovel, V, then leaves, V, leaves, every, every, driven, again a V, driven. So these were some words with the V sound. Now let's check the words with T, T, T as in tango. Stops, T, stops. Turn, T, T, turn. Cart, it, about. Fifteen, told, T in the beginning, told. It's, transport, tutors, transport. Not, doesn't, T at the end, doesn't. Cart, dirt, out. Front, into, street, trims, mat, puts, t at the end, puts, trimmings, t in the beginning, t, trimmings, empty, dustbin, and street. So these were the words with T sound. Let's move on to the words with W, W, W sound. Weeks, which, wooden, working, well, well, walking, blower, W, blower. Blow, O, oh. with, mower, welcome, w, welcome, wheel, barrow, two, one in the beginning and one at the end, wheel, barrow, work, w, work, when, when okay so these were words with w w sound next are the words left with the d sound the d rides d with the vibration old d afford had added told d good does Dirt, D in the beginning, dirt, garden, outside, D at the end, outside, door, around and does. So I hope you've got all of them now. The best way to learn a sound is by talking a lot. And whenever you talk, if you make a mistake, you realize that, correct yourself there and then. We need to remember four things about each of these sounds. First, the position. Like in case of T, the position has to be correct. Don't let it go up to the roof. It has to be the ridge. The second thing is about D. 
the d again on the ridge and not on the roof third in case of b you need to bite your lip and last in case of w w you need to kiss your w so remember these four rules for these sounds and i'm sure if you have a mother tongue influence while talking in english you can get rid of that mti until next time work hard and keep learning